All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome to Total War Arena. Now, the Total War franchise is one of my favorites in video games, and Wargaming recently approached me offering to sponsor this video, so thank you, Wargaming, for doing that and giving me a code to play TWA to give to you guys. So if you're a new player in Total War Arena, you can get seven premium days in 500 gold in-game. So the bonus code is available for new Total War Arena users, those who create a Wargaming account for the first time, and those who already have a Wargaming, a Wargaming account but have never played Total War Arena. So Total War Arena is free to play, and the open beta started at the 22nd of February, so it's in open beta testing right now. This is a game about 10v10. You can do PvE or PvP. And in doing such, you can go out and look at this. You pick a general, now, my favorite right now is Hannibal of the Carthaginians, but there are Carthaginian generals, Greek generals, Roman generals, and barbarians. Now, and they all have different traits and features and different units available to them at different levels and different tiers. So you can check this tech tree. In the Carthaginians, for example, they start with one unit. The mercenary rabble, and you get to work your way up. And they may have a funny sounding name, but man, these guys do work. And I've had some of my best games with them. Now, if you want to play as others, and look at this. The cool thing about the Carthaginians and why I'm kind of favoring them is I want the war elephants, which were basically the tanks of the ancient world. So now moving on to the Greeks, we can go to their tech tree, and you can see that they've got hoplites, which are very good, very good defensive units, very good at holding lines because they've got those long spears. And then we've got archers. So the Greeks have the archers that you can play from tier one. Moving on, we've got the Romans who are kind of the jack of all trades. And Germanicus, I gotta tell you, man, my best individual game was using this combination right here. We used two units of swordsmen and one unit of javelin men, as opposed to what I was doing with the Carthaginians and just rocking three units of melee infantry. But anyway, I'm gonna show you all of that in battles, so without further ado, let's check it out. By the way, that code PLAYTWA is in the video description, and it's battle time. Lieutenant Dan! Oh wait, that's Captain Dan. Alright guys, so this is Capitoline Hill, this is the battlefield. So once Iluha will join in, it'll this will drop to five seconds, and then we- Oh, there we go! And now I can pick my position on the battlefield. I'm gonna be looking for a position on the flank. I like the number nine position. Ooh, and I'm supported by cavalry. I'm hoping we have some infantry joining the eight position. Because then we have a really, come on. Someone's got a, ooh, we've got a really strong left flank. Well, we've got ment here. So this is a, ooh, there we go. We got, okay. So this is the flanking force. We've got two units of cavalry. Oh, yes. All right, perfect. I'm feeling pretty good. We don't have any archers. In fact, we don't have any archers in this entire game. I've, I've played two or three times so far, and I think I have a decent command of Total War Arena. So let's go ahead and position our soldiers. I'm going to try to do a fast move here. We're going to try to do a blitz. A blitzkrieg over here to take this flank. And we've got friendly cavalry behind us. And then, wait, wasn't there... Wasn't there supposed to be infantry here? Maybe he repositioned. I'm not sure. But we're marching. Yeah, cavalry, go go the other way. Or, or you could you could hop up this hill and go around. Oh, here we go. Enemy infantry has been spotted. This guy should be doing he or he could be doing. All right, it looks like we're both gonna do a little bit of hammer and anvil type stuff. I'm I'm looking for flanks, and since they didn't challenge me on this ridge line here, I'm gonna go into this trough, man, and try to catch some of them unawares. However, ooh, this guy got a really cool spot. Now I'm gonna take this hill. So, and then maybe, maybe they'll be forced to, to come to me. Oh, they're moving, they're moving their way up here. So this guy's gonna have like, a Spartan type stand. Oh man. I wanna, I wanna see what it's like to fight up there. We're moving at pace. Trying to catch some of these units. There's definitely somebody in this forest here. I can see them kind of peeking on this map. Where are you? What are you? I think they're trying to ambush us. There they are. All right, so if they're all... Oh, I really wish... Here we go. Here's the other cavalry. If they catch him unawares, I might try to go all the way around. Oh my god, this guy is about to get smashed by two units of cavalry. However, they are swords, so they're a high threat, right? But three units of horse. Make that six. There we go. Get here. We've got a meat grinder. This poor unit was caught 
the morale just dropped even before we could eliminate them. The white bar is morale, and then the right below that is the unit's health. So I'm gonna forego that. I'm gonna let the horses have their feast. That unit's wiped out. Oh, what's this? Is this horses crashing down? Oh, we're spear units, so this could work out very well. Catch them, catch them. Woo! Look at that! Right, and we, we got a little bit of flank. You saw that little right flank. So we caught these horses, and we're natural counters. We're guys on foot with long, pointy sticks. Okay? They're horses. The best way to get someone off a horse in this day and age was a long, pointy stick. We've all seen Braveheart. We know what it's like. I mean, we don't know what it's like, but we've seen it in movies, in TV, and now in video games. We, we know that long, pointy sticks are a pretty effective way of de-horsing a man. We're just gonna chew these guys up, and then I gotta get up here, and then I should be able to continue this pretty good flank stuff. Now, unfortunately, this cavalry is trying to crash up this staircase instead of catching, you know, range units, but... Oh, his... his you know what? Here. You really, you really like holding these steps, huh? Claudius. So this is PvE mode. Look, and look at that. Automatically just surrounding him and his morale drops. Which allows me to end this battle much quicker. Plus, get more surround. There we go. Eliminated. We gotta move up. We've taken very few casualties. If you look down here, these are my units. You can see their morale. It seems my max morale is 78. And my health, or total hit points, which is represented by how many units I have and how good they are, how good their armor is. We're gonna get in here and smack this guy from the rear. I wanna get there before the horses do. Which is gonna be tough to outrun horses, obviously. Yeah, he got there before me. The flank's there. So we're all- we're all just chomping at the bit here. Ooh, look at this. This is gonna be the final showdown. Enough of the enemy units have retreated. Come on. Come on, boys. Help me with this. Yeah, there we go. Just that simple movement caused a flank, and then a rout. Alright, so now we're gonna take this ridge line here. This is gonna be the final battle. Wait a minute. Are they not dead? There they are. Now what's going on over here? They've got them surrounded. That should, that's a meat grinder and a half. Look at this. So we've secured the right flank, we've secured the left flank, however... Oh, here we go. Oh man, I want, I want to hit the cavalry so much. I love it when cavalry just charge my spears. If I can catch you, if I can pin you... Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, here we go. Enemy spears. So I've got to pin them to allow my cavalry to maneuver. We're gonna come over here, there's cavalry's moving around. So I'm gonna stay here as well as increasing... Wait, where are you guys going? Chasing that? We don't need to chase that, boys. We don't need to chase that horse. Charge that cav. And then we need our last unit to re reinforce here. And look at this. This is gonna be nuts. Alright, I'm trying to position my guys. This is gonna be a bit of a squeeze because there's a lot of units converging on the same spot. Let's go ahead and see if I can position a little bit better. Guess that's the best I can do right now. You know what? I don't like how long this unit is just hanging around. No one's flanking behind them. So if, no if it's to be, it's up to me, boys. So we're gonna- we're gonna hop out here. This is a bit of a risk, because if their cav were to charge or anything. But now you'll see the flank, and then their morale just drops, it plummets it. It turns a slugfest into just a few seconds of combat. Alright. Reposition! Reposition! Turn around! Oh, see, we- we turned around and made an overt move at the cav, and, and they thought- they thought maybe this is a bad idea. But they committed it anyway. Alright, now we've got this unit of spears, so I'm gonna send both my spears. One to pin it, and one to flank. There we go. Come on, get, get, ooh, there was a little bit of combat there. So, even though I don't have horses, we're doing hammer and anvil tactics, man. Alexander the Great taught us a few things. All these guys are just bunched up, I, I don't think they're aware of the intricacies of the movement. The rear flank! Look at that. The Cav? See that? Well done, Mr. Cav. Oh, no. Now we've got Roman infantry coming, guys. Now that is the bane of my existence. Not the bane, but a definitely a good counter to me. Alright, reposition, reposition. We're gonna let them form the lines. And we're gonna take advantage of what we see on the battlefield. I've been- I've been on the front for a while. We've started the engagements. Someone needs to- look at this. He's getting flanked. I need to support him. Ooh, cavalry's coming in! Now that's a hammer and anvil right here. Man, this is gonna get real messy. Oh, look at that. No- no morale, so that's a route. There we go! Charge! 
That guy waited for a really good opportunity to charge in. And the cavalry is doing its job. What do we want to do here? Ooh, horses. Horses versus big, long, pointy sticks. We've seen this movie before. Oh, man, there's more units, so I'm going to get kind of flanked in this whole thing. Look at that. Their morale's not doing too good. Oh, these guys are coming in. Try to reposition, pull them away. Oh, man, my morale's dropping. That's not good. We're moving these guys all the way around. I probably should have came here. Now that I see my cavalry just going amok, we're, we're gonna... We might lose some men to a rout. Unless... I can raise their morale in time to save this unit. Oh god, thank goodness. One of their units routed. There we go. Morale is high. Morale is high. Yes! Excellent! This is looking like a victory. I mean, it has been looking for a while, but now I'm just kind of in management mode of trying to limit the number of units. Here we go. This guy's got full morale, and he's holding the line here against, uh, sword infantry, so let's get some rear flank and get some easy chompings. Look at that. Look at the morale just plummet when a unit gets around. I mean, this is how it would happen in real battle, right? If you're like, oh yeah, we just, we're holding the line, we just gotta hold the line, boys, and then all of a sudden you see a bunch of dudes behind you, into your sides, you're gonna, you know, it's gonna be a bad time. Alright, now we gotta charge in I'm gonna try to bypass this whole thing that we caused a route, actually. And I'm gonna try to hit one of these units that's still got some decent number of men. Oh god. This is just- this is just a mess. It's a free-for-all. It's the final- the final skirmish. The final town chopping here, boys. Everybody gone. Haha. <laughs> they're trying to run, but there's nowhere to run because they're in a giant grinder of swords. Shields, spears, and angry horses. All right, so how do we do? Wait, is that us? Hey, what's up? We got the top score on the team. And then on the other team, it was one of the Athenian units, one of the Greeks. You can see the owl. They've got, a, they got, I don't know what's with the Greek, the, the Athenians, they love their owls. All right, so let's see how we did. Because there's all these different like kind of areas to compare your score and to kind of see like what you did for the team. Did we win by supporting them? Did we win? Or like, did we get that score? Let's see. Oh, and we teared up. That's one of the key elements of this game, so I'm glad that happened. I'll get to show you what happens where we go from our mercenary rabble to actual soldiers. So, intimidating presence. Route nine enemy units in a single battle. Contributed most of the team's battle performance. And Corona Civica. Deal the most damage. Well, there we go. We dealt the most damage. Let's see the score. Our score was 5,085. We definitely did the most aggression. I think this is damage. We did a little bit of defense. I think that just means what? Holding? But this is an interesting battle because we haven't seen any archers, right? And then I only got a little bit of support. I didn't do a whole lot in support. And then I got some capture points near the end. But you see Zach here led in capture points. And then Osas led in support. And then Mad Cami led in defense. So overall, here's a little pie chart. We did, we did what? Look at look at my aggression, 39%. See, that's the way I like to play. You just go out there, you give it 110%. You hope you play good. You hope the team plays good. I think we played good. One of my favorite silly quotes of all time. All right, so that that's pretty good. Now it's time to level up. Da da da. Ooh. Premium subscription. Oh, look at that. Just from leveling up, we get an extra day. Okay, that's nice. So, oh, look at the triremes, man. Oh my god, look at this. I want to take these boats. So this is what? The capital city of Carthage, which was supposedly beautiful. And they, the Carthaginian navy was really where it was all at. But here's my general, and here's my units. And they look like a bunch of rabble, don't they? Yeah, we, 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 I mean, we, we, we brought you to victory, Baron. Yeah, well, you know what, buddy? It's time. All right, let's go to the tech tree. So I want these guys, mercenary spears. Let's check them out. They look like they can do reform automatically. They can do a Carthaginian phalanx. Oh, look at all these bonuses. So we've got to go back to our first unit here and unlock. So I unlocked my scrappy linothoraxes and uh, budget mercenary spears. These, these, these terms do not instill confidence in my army. So, we're gonna use our experience that we got from fighting, and we're gonna purchase these guys. Can I do that? Yes, I can. 
I'm replacing all of my my uh, mercenary rabble with mercenary spears for 600 silver. Now let's take let's take a look at these guys. So they're tier two. Now can I upgrade them at all? Do I have the points? Oh wow, 1600 to get the next armor and the next spears, and then 2400 total experience to get the next one. So these are Phoenician warriors. Man, the Phoenicians were all over the Mediterranean. All right, now. You'll see that I'm playing as Hannibal from Carthage, however, there's a number of other generals. We've got Hannibal, we've got the Grecian general, this is San... Saninan? Saninan? Saninan. And then we've got Leonidas, if you want to buy him for gold currency. Militiades. And then Alexander the Great? Well, I'll be darned! So... All very well, you know, well-remembered historical generals, especially Alexander the Great and Leonidas. Militiades, if you, if you know your Greek history. Then we've got the Romans, we've got Germanicus, Scipio Africanus, Julius Caesar, and Sulla. And then we've got the Barbarians, Arminius, Bodica, and wow. That's a cool name, and he's got an awesome beard, and that's basically probably my great-great-great-grandfather. So, or great, great, you know, add a few more greats, you get the picture. All right, we're back on Capitillon Hill. Now, what I decided to do this time was give me a little bit of ranged fire coverage. I'm gonna go for the middle here, and I'm gonna take this point here, get the vision, get the bonus to it, see what's going on, and then maybe make a move over here. All right, let's do this, boys. So I'm marching my men up the hill after drawing a smiley face on the battlefield. Just to increase morale, so look at this. These guys are able to launch Pili, which are basically small javelins. So they've got a bit of range, man. Oh, wow. Hello, horsies. How are you today? Horses are charging right through the center. You've got sword units. Chop those guys up. This guy's got much the same plan as I do. Are they? Oh, turn around! Turn around! He's right there! What are you doing? Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. Alright, he's turned around. I'm gonna take these guys and hold this hill here. Let's try to get a better spot. And then I've got my Pele. I could... Well, let's see. Oh, maybe I could... Do you think I could... Ooh, we're, we're taking archer fire. Hold on, do we have testudos? We've got heavy infantry fire. We don't have testudo yet. So these guys are just shrekking me with arrows. We're gonna have to go out and engage them because we're just taking casualties from the front. We've got no friendly cavalry anywhere. Uh, this guy may be AFK. Well, this is unfortunate. One of our soldiers is just now entering the battlefield. I've lost so much to archers here. Actually, you know what? Give him a little taste of their medicine. Pelai's to the face. Give him a give him a salvo of Pelai. Yes. Wow, we've taken so many casualties to these stupid arrows. That was bad, dude. We were just taking those to the face. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna use my Pele because we've got limited ammunition, I think. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Fire. This'll help expedite this whole thing. That was very, very costly. All right, here we go. Targets of opportunity. There's three units taking on two with, s yep. We've gotta go down here or else we'll, we'll lose this engagement, I think. The traitor is slain. Oh, that must be the Carthaginian. The Carthaginian general. The Romans don't like him, you know. Crash down these gates, boys. And by gates, I mean these stairs. Let's see if we can't get a salvo off here from the rear. These guys are going to take a lot of damage. Once it happens. Alright, crash it. Crash it. Oh, we missed it. The horses are going to get there first. Two full units of swordsmen. Morale's plummeting. Now let's see, what do we want to do here? We're gonna send these guys out and engage those. Alright, come on boys, come on boys. What's going on over there? Nothing. Oh, the, the cavalry, if the cavalry charges the swordmen from the front. That's a bold move, Cotton. I wouldn't recommend it. Are you gonna launch Pili? Oh, dude, the Romans. There's the general. Oh, <laughs> and he got hit. Wait. I don't want to- I don't want to throw spears and hit my friendly horses. Yeah, he's causing a rout just by sheer force of will. He's not even, like, taking one and hammering and anviling them, unfortunately. You're gonna need your numbers when we go up against this fortress, guys. Oh my god! Who are these guys? 
Run away! <laughs> bravely, bravely, bravely running away! I just need my units to slow them down. And now they get flanked. And now you get hit from the rear. Alright, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. It's bad. Man. This is a messy battle, huh? Who are these guys, friends? Fish are friends, not food. Alright boys, they're routing, move on out. Get in a position, we've got the final siege here, so this has just been... It's been interesting. I feel like I'm a much better Carthaginian general with spears than I am... I guess we just sat there and our shields weren't big enough. We didn't have the Testudo. Testudo would have really greatly, greatly helped us. All right, we're, we're running into the circle here. We're going to get capture points. And then I'm going to get a lot of rear shots. Unless the cavalry crashes everywhere, which is what they should do. Oh, here we go. We're going to focus fire here. Focus fire! What's up with you guys? There may be some friendly fire, but you know what? It's gotta be done. Why aren't you fighting these horses? There we go. Alright, get over here. There we go, that'll be the last one. And then we'll crash with melee. And you know what, get in there, get in there with... We'll charge... ...with melee weaponry. So this was just an absolute rout. Ooh, we routed Novinus. Look at all this. Eliminations and routings going on. I don't think we performed as good as we did in that first one. And then some of these people are just like, Eh, screw it, man. We're gonna keep firing in there. And that's just a victory and a half. I'm wondering if we could... Is that me? Oh my god, it's me! How? <laughs> I thought I did bad! But I guess, like, I made the right decisions, and I soaked up a lot of arrows. I guess the only thing I really did wrong was soaking up the arrows at the beginning. I thought uh, losing all those numbers was just going to be uh, something we couldn't overcome. But I like that. There's morale. There's health. You know, there's more to it than just, like, we've got more than they do. Oh, we got that XP. We got free XP. Oh, these guys did so well. How? See? Oh, there was some friendly... What? Ah, oh, it was the support and the capture at the end. We were in the circle with all three of our units for the longest amount of time. That's what put us over. I think we, we actually did have the most combat, even with the point deduction due to friendly fire. I'm sure some of these guys with archers had a lot, had heavier <laughs> friendly fire scores. We had the heaviest... Wow, we topped everything. Aggression, defense, support, and capture. I'm genuinely surprised because I thought we were slopping it up and some other people were getting it, but you know what? We did everything. We're the- we're the- the Romans are the jack of all trades. Because in the past, as the Carthaginians, we dominated here, but we kind of lagged elsewhere. Now let's go to the tech trees, and yes, I don't want to be the tribesmen warriors. Oh man, but they've got some really cool looking, like, two-handed weaponry. But they- I think they've probably got the best cavalry in the game. Maybe- well, actually, the Greeks Arminius. should at least have Alexander the Great's units, right? His cavalry. Oh, Hellenic Cataphracts, Royal Cavalry. These things are going to be heavily armored. Pikemen should be cool. Myrmidons and Spartans? Alright, now I've got a really cool mask, so let's see, can I- yeah. I'm using my free XP, you know I'm gonna do it. These guys are very much glass cans, we have to use these very appropriately, but I think I can use them better than I've seen other people use them. So let's give it a go, let's give it the old college try. The last time I didn't think I was doing good, and we did really well, so I'm curious to see what happens this time. Well, doesn't this work out? I'm the only cavalry unit on my team, we're very heavy infantry centered, so, and we're kind of limited on archers. Five out of a potential 30 because this is 10v10, guys. I've just got to pick my moments and pick my targets. What we're not going to do, or we're going to try not to do because I can't tell you how the battle is going to unfold. We're not going to charge any spearmen from the front. We actually have a few units of spearmen. So let's see, I'm going to take this flank again. I'm going to get up here on this hill, see what's going on, crash here or crash there. It gives me a few options. Or I could kind of run around and even just thread the needle here, run the gap. Actually, let's go ahead. So, I'm gonna go here, here, or there. 
That's gonna be my options. Three gaps to shoot for. There's no one else on this side. What's my special ability? A cavalry charge? Okay, we'll save that for when there's something to charge. Actually, is there- there's no- There's no points of interest. Like, this is a- A vision center. A <laughs> center of vision? No, it's a scout tower. I don't know, sometimes I, I use words in real weird ways. I'm like, what is am I doing here, mites? And you know, it's just whatever. Look at these fast horses. But you'll notice, they're wearing pants. And that's about it. Let's- let's stay back here. We're gonna wait. I don't want the cavalry to come up this hill, so I'm gonna stay out of sight. And I'm looking for range units. They're up here, obviously. Man, this is probably where we should have gone. So it looking like we're gonna go for option three. We're not gonna hold this gap. Oh, wait a minute. This guy might need us. Ah, uh, there's sword units there. Man, if I could have hit... Wow, this poor guy is gone. We're gonna lose this flank. Like, they're, they're heavily invested over here. What's over here? There's the unit I want to get. All right, we gotta thread it though. You know what? Maybe I could, maybe I could do a feint. Maybe I could try to save this guy a little bit of trouble with a feint. See, we we've attracted two units. Then we then we disengage, pull off. This guy's gotta pull back, man. Our Slayer is just gone. I can't, I can't. Slayer, rest in pieces, sir. That's a unit of spears. Let's see. This is gonna be tough because we've got. You know what? I'm gonna s maybe if I faint for a capture, I'll get these guys out of position. Oh, oh, archers! Oh wait, there's swords units too. We're gonna hit. No, no, no. We gotta pull out. I think. Oh my gosh! How many units are there? All right, screw that. We're out of here. Still looking for our first. Here we go. We'll finish off this cavalry as our first offensive action. They're running, and then we'll hit these archers who are getting chopped up by some swords. These guys are open. We just gotta watch out for those spearmen. Yeah, I mean, I gotta- as cavalry, we're very vulnerable. Alright, let's- let's try to flank this and end this. Let's cause a rout, at least. So they start running- there we go, there's the rout. See, just that little bit of a tweak in movement. Instead of just- oh, we gotta move, boys, we gotta move. We gotta move. Spears coming. Big pointy sticks. We've- we've seen this movie before. Crash these guys. We're just gonna have to cause, like, routes wherever we can. Morale. Right, my right flanks. Oh, Ooh. We're gonna hit these pointy sticks from behind. Rear flank, morale boost. All the while running from these guys. Sorry, buddy. Can't stay too long. Actually, wait. I can crash again. Hammer and anvil! Oh, man. Look at my guys. This isn't working well. We gotta go for the archers. There's some exposed archers. We're gonna punch them in the face. With pointy- We got pointy sticks, too, buddies! Gah! Wow, look at my health already. And we gotta run. Man, I tell you what. These horses... Are, are rough stuff right now. But we're- we're distracting them. A lot of units, we're keeping them out of position. Look at how many casualties I've taken, just in those small engagements. I guess hitting the spearmen, even- even if they weren't facing us. Here we go. Let's- let's deal with this guy. Hello! Our horsemen are better than yours! And we eliminated him. Now let's go up here and hit these guys. He's a- he's a peltist. Yeah, see like... I feel like the morale isn't a true- look at this guy! We gotta run because there's swordsmen right there, man. We're not able to chop them down too much. I'm actually in a really weird spot. Keep running, boys. Keep running. Don't get slogged down by those swordsmen. They mean nothing to you. Alright, what do we do now? There's archers over here, we go. I'm just gonna stay mobile. I, I feel like I've had a very minimal impact on this battle. What you guys got? Yes! He's doing so well. I mean, we're gonna lose, but we're doing the best we can. 
There we go, yes! The old bait and switch and the archers are just chopping everybody down. I'm just distracting them. This is- this is actually working. Here, now they're gonna look over here, cause I'm over here. They're in- in there. In- You can rest when you're dead! Shoot those guys! <laughs> this is working! We have to do this like 11 more times, I feel. I may not get many points, but you know what? This is- this- we could turn this one around. Oh, five seconds. We survived. We- we survived this. We- we- we were defeated, but come on, man, that could have been- that would- that should have been an absolute disastrous route. And we didn't top the board, no- no surprise there. I'm not sure if I like lower tier cat lower tier cavalry, especially for like, maybe my playstyle. Cause we like to be a little more aggressive. But let's see our score, how did we actually do? Eh, decent, but not great. We got second place, and I think a lot of it was support, I wonder if that helped. We could have captured more, but you know what? What did we do today? We... Let's go ahead. We, we played as the cavalry here for the barbarians, for Germanicus, the general Germanicus. Then we've got, over here, we played as the Romans, we played as, well, wait, excuse me, not Germanicus, Arminius. Germanicus the Roman, we had our best game where we did a little bit of mix and match. We did the, the swordsmen. And we did some javelin men. And then we played as the Carthaginians, as Hannibal. And we had our, oh, they have funny names, mercenary rabble. But now we've got mercenary spears, so they are tier two. I'd say overall, this is pretty cool. I'm really looking to get the elephants at some point because I think that would be some of the coolest battles you could see in Total War Arena. So anyway, once again, I want to thank Wargaming for sponsoring this video and allowing me to play Total War Arena. Kind of show it off for you guys. I really enjoyed the Carthaginians and the Romans. And also, use the code PLAYTWA. There, it's, it's in the video description. P-L-A-Y-T-W-A. And that will give you seven premium days in Total War Arena and 500 gold. So basically, after every battle, you get a little bit more experience and silver to help you level up your, your men and get further down the tech tree a little bit faster. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.